Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Lex. And today's video is gonna be a get ready with me, a little chit chat, catching up with you guys. And then I also am gonna include a quick little hair review on this unit that I picked up from Wig Dealer. Absolutely love this unit and definitely wanted to share with you guys. I'm about to head out for a quick girls night out. So if you wanna catch up with me and hear about this amazing unit, stay tuned. All right, hey y'all, so let's go ahead and start off with this Wig Dealer hair review when I ordered this wig I don't think it was too many wig dealer hair reviews on YouTube so I was just taking a chance but I feel like I have this theory I told my sister about it smaller uh hair businesses black owned hair businesses they really can't BS with us because for some reason we're tougher on our own like if we know who owns the company and it's not like a big business we really do judge with a final tooth comb which is fine because it's still uh, good for business and stuff. So the wig that I ended up getting was a 5x5 lace closure pronto lace wig in Cambodian straight. Um, the density was 180% and when I bought it, it was $249 and I got it in 16 inches. I got it in 16 inches because I wanted to make a bob wig and uh, I feel like instead of buying a bob wig or when you buy bob wigs, they always seem to be a little bit on the thinner side versus if you just make a bob wig yourself. It just ends up looking way fuller and not thin. All right, let's go through the basics. Uh, shipping was excellent. I believe I got the wig in like four days, maybe even three. Packaging, beautiful. I still have the box over there. I'll show it. It's a beautiful box, great packaging. You can definitely store your wigs or a couple wigs in that box when you're not wearing the unit, which I love. The lace closure on this wig also came pre-bleached, so I didn't have to do anything to lace and it looks so good. This is my first time buying a wig or getting a wig where it says the lace is gonna be pre-bleached and it actually looks like it's been pre-bleached. Like I didn't have to do anything to it at all. It came in the middle part too, so it was super sharp and straight. When I first planned on making a bob wig, I wanted to make it a side part, but when I seen how straight and nice it came with the middle part, I was like, I'll just leave it middle part. Okay, I got this wig at the beginning of February. It is now June, so I feel like I've had it for enough time to truly give it a good review. And I would 100% say that this wig is worth every freaking penny. No tangling, no shedding. The density feels like a true 180% because I feel like sometimes you can buy a wig that says 180 and it feel like they used all of just 100. Okay, now onto my favorite part about this wig. It being a secret, literally wet and wavy wig that you don't have to do anything to low maintenance curls. Like, and I feel like units or hair that's curly like this with that whole, you know, natural wave ends up costing more than like your body wave or straight units. And I only noticed this because I got caught in the rain one day and like 30 minutes had passed and I had looked into the mirror and seen this beautiful curl pattern. So I immediately wet the other side because it was just one side. So I had one side straight and one side like wavy. And with just water alone, the curl pattern was popping and beautiful. So I washed the wig with some shampoo and conditioner and this is what the pattern looks like. I would have never discovered this because I was straight blow drying the hair right after washing it. This is what the texture looks like with just water. When I say low maintenance, this wig right now is out of stock. I feel like when I bought it, it was in and out. So definitely make sure you keep up with a wig dealer because their starter wigs are really affordable. They're starting off, I think at 249, the 555 closures. This one is Cambodian straight, but they have some other ones in different styles, curly patterns, body wave. I'm not gonna lie, when this comes back in stock in the 24 inch, I want to get it because can you imagine it long? Super, super cute. So how I've been wearing this unit since I discovered it looks so bomb in its natural state is I'll take a spray bottle and it's already damp because um, it's not 100% dry. It's probably about 75% dry. I'm gonna take a spray bottle, make sure it's on spray and not stream, and just wet it a little bit more. Oops, don't get the camera wet. My pieces. And to make the curls pop even more, I also used a the shampoo and conditioner um, by Garnier Fructis, the one that is for smoothing curls, I believe. I'll put it up. 
So I feel like that definitely helps with the shine and stuff. But after that, I just take a really inexpensive curling cream. I'm using the Cantu Shea Butter. Using this one right here. I'm gonna use about this much. And just rake it loosely through the hair. Try to keep it off my face because any freaking thing on my face makes me break out. Get these front pieces so they can pop more. Y'all, I'm so ready for this wig to be back in stock. I want a longer unit. I want a longer unit, so I think I might shop with another black owned brand. Do y'all have any that y'all suggest? Look at how these curls are already popping. And to lay this wig down, I just used the Got To Be Glued uh, hairspray in gel. I actually ordered the Wig Diller uh, Melting Spray. Super popular, always out of stock too, but it's in stock right now, so I went ahead and ordered that. I think it's just like $12. So I'm excited to try that when it comes in. So that's literally it for hair. Once I feel like uh, the unit is nice and set, I'll probably take a hot uh, comb to lay down uh, the lace closure since it was wet. You know, I don't want it to be too lifted and then let it air dry. So yeah, y'all, that is it for this quick hair review. Absolutely love this hair. Natural, just water and a little bit of curling cream. Like what? And this was Cambodian straight. Like amazing. Five out of five. Recommend. All right, you guys, so on to makeup. I just had to wash my hands. I feel like after doing your hair and touching all those products, definitely wash your hands. You don't want to cause breakouts. So this is about to be a really quick get ready with me. We're about to go out to a lounge, a little quick girls night out. It's summer, why not? I'm taking Tatcha's uh, silk canvas and I'm priming my smile lines. So how have you guys been? Are you guys excited for summer? Do you have any fun plans? Are you gonna be traveling like out of the country or even domestic traveling? It's still fun even though people like seem to always wanna joke on it. I know I'm excited just to be back out socializing. If any of you guys have plans to travel to Nashville, let me know. We can definitely meet up and hang out. Um, I've been watching Peyton Charles here on YouTube. I'm a PayPal and I love the fact that she hangs out with her uh, supporters and friends from the internet because I feel like a lot of times people treat YouTube, not actual YouTubers, I feel like certain people uh, audience wise treat YouTubers in the sense of like how they treat celebrities and it doesn't have to be like that, like very much still normal individuals. So seeing someone like her with her platform hanging out with her friends from the internet and supporters, I was like, yes, because I always felt like I wanted to do that. But I feel like content creators are scared or nervous to do it for right reasons. Like you definitely have to be cautious. But if you feel like you have a true connection with like your supporters and audience, why not hang out with them? Like, I feel like that's one of the positive sides of the internet. Like you can really meet people that you have so much in common with that that if the internet didn't exist, you probably never would have ran into them or known them. So, so yeah, I already had somebody reach out to me and I believe if the scheduling works out, I'm still working through some kinks that I'll be able to meet her. So that'll be super fun and exciting. Okay, after setting that, I'm just about to do my eyebrows real quick. I feel like I, I can't talk while doing my eyebrows. I need to focus. All right, brows are done and I'm gonna use actual eyeshadow today instead of just using bronzer and highlighter. And I'm gonna use just Jackie Ina's palette because honestly, it's the only palette that I really have outside of like the mini e.l.f. palettes, a couple Wet n Wild palettes, the more uh, affordable drugstore palettes. But the shades I'm using are very similar to the bronzer, ginger and edges. But as far as traveling with me, I know for sure over the next couple of months, 
I want to go to Miami. My sister has never been to Miami. So I want to go to Miami with my sister. I'm honestly moved by the places that have vegan food, plant-based food, because I've done traveling before and uh, kind of accommodated the people that I went with. And like, I don't know, after 2020, I was like, no more. Like, so I want to go places that I know have amazing vegan food spots because that's why we all like to travel. A lot of us want to eat new things, try different uh, restaurants and spots. That was one of the main reasons why I wanted to go to LA because you know, that's vegan plant-based food central. I know Miami has some really good food spots. Atlanta has opened up so many new spots that I really want to try. New York. So, okay, just brought y'all in some. And now that businesses are back opened just everywhere, Nashville has some spots that I have not tried that I'm excited to test out. A handful of like lounges and bars that are like 100% plant-based, like that's so exciting for me. Hence why we're going out tonight, right? Outside of having fun with your friends and traveling, how has dating been going for y'all? Cause I, you know, like, I talk to my guy friends and my homeboys about it because I just be wanting to know, like, is it me or am I, am I tripping? Not nothing crazy has went on. I just find that a lot of men, no matter their age either, like, honey, they can be 10 years older than you. They just truly don't understand the, what it means to uh, date a woman or to pursue someone. Like, it's very strange. <laughs> So for example, I had a guy reach out to me and he wanted to hang out and I told him because he, I don't know his schedule, he is a very busy man to just plan something like you always hit me up and you say that you want to hang out and that you want to see me plan something because like you want to see me not the other way around like I don't know you enough to know if I even like you enough to want to hang out with you. I'm trying to figure that out. I haven't got the opportunity to figure that out. And that's not on my agenda. That's not one of my priorities. So once I shared that with him, I literally was like, just plan something out. Um, I'm pretty much free the entire weekend. And you know, we'll go from there. He like paused and he was like something, something, something. And then he was like, but you know, it's a two way street, sir. I am on a one way. And it sounds like you want me to do something that just don't, I'm going forward. You want me to, you want to see me it's not uh, that was just very strange to me because i was like i didn't ask for anything difficult like i don't know your schedule You're like you could just call me on the spur moments and like it's not like he's like trying to do something right then because he'll be busy doing something so i'm like like what, what do you want me to tell you i'm telling you that i'm free like you want me to plan it you you want to hang out with me but like come on it's not hard and then meeting men while out has been interesting. Um, the face mask situation. If you tried to hit on me or pursue me and you did not see my face, I was already looking at you kind of funny. I was looking at you suspect because you don't know what I look like underneath this mask. So what are you basing it off of, sir? What are you basing it off of, truly? I'm about to put lashes on real quick before we finish this discussion. I'm using the 3D Silk by Cherry Blossom. They're super cute. All right, lashes are on and they're all looking good. Now moving on to the face, my favorite part. I'm excited because I'm actually gonna try out the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealers. I picked them up in shades Toffee and Honey. So yeah, since I'll be concealing and contouring with these full coverage concealers, I think I'm gonna use Fenty Skin. So I feel like I want it to look full coverage, but I don't want it to feel full coverage, so. Okay, so back to the conversation. Um, since we have been going out more, since, you know, things are opening back up, um, night outs have been just interesting, been fun, but I've noticed that, I've noticed that men, um, in particular, Caucasian men, have this thing where they have to like, I don't know, I'm calling it a disclaimer. So like they'll um, walk up to you introduce themselves and then for some odd reason 
feel the need to tell you that they're white. <laughs> and I'm just like, why do they do it? They ruin it every time they open their mouths and say, oh, do, do you do, do you whatever with, I'm white, do you, do you date white guys? Do you diss with white guys? I'm like, it's 2021, why, why are you guys doing this? Why? First of all, I feel like the settings are just wrong. I could understand maybe it was like, I don't know, a dating app or something, but we're really at a bar. Like, we're here to socialize. It's not that deep. Like, then on top of that, like, I live in Nashville. Like, y'all everywhere. You think I'm blind? <laughs> So that's always hilarious because I'll tell them immediately. I'm like, why? Why did you say that? Why did you feel the need to like put this disclaimer on? They're always like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. They're so funny. It's like you want to tell them so bad. Like we live in America, honey. I was born in '94. I am 20% Valley girl. Like I love that skin tint. I know everyone doesn't like it. That's just the way the world works. But man, it does me good. So yeah, that's been hilarious. Do you guys encounter that as women? What awkward things are men doing that you just like, you don't have to do that. Like you're overthinking it, sir. All right, let's take the concealer now. I don't need too much. It smells good. It's just kind of alarming because I know my skin does not care for perfume. Do a little on the nose. I feel like I shouldn't let this sit because the consistency feels a little thick. It's blending out like a dream. Love the way they blended out. Okay, now I'm taking coffee. I'm taking a brush first, just so it could be more precise. and then blend out the edges with the Beauty Blender. So far, I really like these concealers. They look good. I am glad I didn't do a full coverage foundation because I feel like it would have felt like too much. This feels good. I believe it's definitely gonna be in like the 70s tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer used in a CoverGirl translucent powder. This looks so good. I'm gonna bronze use in Mocha Mommy by Fenty. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face using the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation by Fenty. Love this stuff too. I think it pairs really well with the skin tint to just add more coverage. I'm one of those people who has to highlight my nose. It's a must. And then of course the inner corner of the eyes. I just feel like it makes my eyes pop more. All right, I think I'm gonna add some blush. Do I have some over here? Yep, okay. Just use this e.l.f. blush. I don't even know the shade. What shade is it? Brick red? Give it a bit of that. And I haven't been highlighting my cheeks. I think I'll just do a little bit since we're going out tonight. Just like a teeny bit. Kind of mix it in with the blush. So it's more of like a glowy blush. Yeah, that looks good. Now before I do bottom mascara and uh, 
my lips. I'm going to set my face. And I used the Radiant Spray by NYX. I'm just gonna take the Beauty Blender so everything can look seamless. The lip liners that I'm gonna be using are by LA Girl and they are in the shades Vamp and then Sugar and Spice. And I think I'm going to use Maybelline Lip Gloss in Stone. It's been one of my favorites. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Topaz by the Maybelline Lip Gloss. It's more of a shimmery one. In the center. Fluff these brows out. All right, so let's finish up. Let's take this off. Oh, that feels so good. I feel like I lay my wig once a month. So, boom, here it is. Actually, me truly laying the wig. It looks so freaking good. I should lay my wig more often, huh? I'm not gonna do any baby hairs. Uh, I don't need anything laying on my face because I will break out. And I have a hot comb right here. Hoping it's not too hot. I always test like the end piece. Make sure I don't hear no crazy sizzling. I do this with a curling wand too, since the curling wand is just flat. But boom. That is it, you guys. Looks so freaking good. All right, now for the rest of this video, we need to figure out what we're putting on and fragrance. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna just put on this cute little set that I got a minute ago from Pretty Little Thing because I'm Russian and I really wanna create a cute little outfit. GG's in the room now. Um, but I need to just go ahead and plan out outfits for like thrifted pieces. I need to do that anyways for like a night out look, a night out look book style thrift haul. So for right now, I want to take a pic. So for today, for sure, I'm going to throw this little set on because I want to take a picture in it anyways. Super cute. I think this is one of the sets that Pretty Little Thing collabed with a black creator on. So yeah. The patterns have pink and blue in it. So for accessories, I feel like I don't wanna just go with straight gold, maybe like cool toned, something a little icy number, a little simple icy necklace. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Let's put some studs in. For arm candy, I'm just gonna put on my Michael Kors watch and this little cute little bracelet. This little bracelet right here, I thrifted rose gold, so I'll put that on. I need to get some links taken out on my watch just since I've lost weight. For shoes, it's either between these Shein ones that are new or some Steve Madden ones. I'm gonna try them on in the mirror to see which ones I like more. All right, here is what the set looks like in the mirror. Super cute. Um, shoes, I think I'm leaning towards the Shein ones more than Steve Madden, they're higher. And I think I just want a higher heel with this. So yeah. And I'm thinking for bags, I'm gonna wear this little baby because honestly, it's the only one that really goes with this outfit. Dang, y'all, should I wear these to make the orange pop more? Crap. Let's see, I don't have time for this. I don't. These are even higher too. Mm, I think I still like the strappy more. And for perfumes, I'm thinking YSL Libre. It's been my favorite for night outs. Smells so good. And 
And I'm gonna add just a dash of Replica by Jazz Club. Love that too for nights. All right, let me show you guys the final look. All right, here is what it looks like. Super stinking cute. I wanna say I got this set on sale too, so yeah, I like it. Here's what the pattern looks like up close. And like the leggings are double layered. The set is actually pretty nice. Not just some thin fabric pieces. So yeah. All right, I need to film the intro and outro. And then we can head out. All right, you guys, so that is it for this Get Ready With Me, including this wig review on this amazing unit by Wig Dealer. Once again, 10 out of 10, five out of five stars for sure. Would recommend this company. Absolutely love this hair and can't wait for this unit particularly to come back in stock. As always, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.